How are you doing guys? Can you hear? You're doing great. I did it. Uh, actually, I overdid it. The challenge was to do 500 reps. I did probably around six, 700. And mainly thanks to the handstand challenge that I put myself through recently, which I really, really, really encourage you to check out because it's a cool video and you can even follow this along because I showed all the exercises. Anyway. Throughout this challenge, I practiced two types of outcore down drawer. First type was standing one. The goal with this one was to practice the middle and the ending part of the movement. The middle part is to get from one hand position to two hands position, straightening the legs in the middle. Ending part, however, is to get from both hands to one hand and land nicely and softly in negativa position. What I figured is that going from one hand to both hands, the both hands position, the middle one, it's nothing else but handstand. And this is the very reason why I mentioned the handstand challenge that I, by the way, encourage you to watch. So what I did, I basically used outside the movement as one of many exercises I used during that handstand challenge, and I did those reps. And in the result, I got really comfortable with going from handstand position to one hand. My shoulders improved, the strength, my wrists, it was win-win. The second type of outcore danger that I practiced is the main, the real, the proper outcore danger. This one was always a buster for me. Five out of ten trials, attempts would fail. Five would be kind of successful, very often just ugly. Yes, one of the problems was weak handstand, weak shoulders, which I already told you that I improved. The greater issue though was the entrance to the movement itself. When you kind of go to Negachiba, you, you open up your hip, kick your knee to your shoulder or to your chest, and then going on one hand to handstand position, straightening the legs and so, and so on. For years I've been trying to find a small detail because I knew it's only a detail. And I believe I found it. Check this out. It's really stupid, but this is what it is. Yes, that's all it is. Just 45 degrees or maybe 90 degrees twist in the hand. That's all it takes. I tried to apply this twist in the standing outsideo and the result was great as well. So I hope now I will be able to do maybe 8 successful reps out of 10 instead of 5 out of 10. So this is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do 10 outsideo reps and we'll see how many will be successful or close to being successful. Let's do this. more than five I didn't see this video because I need to edit it but it felt good it felt in control even though the, the the movement is not great I feel it's controlled and I think I'm getting closer to mastering because it's about time anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode if you found it useful please let me know comments like subscribe but also share this video with other people so they can check out maybe fun find something useful in there and yeah what I'm gonna do now I'll do some reps for another challenge that I committed to in the last episode actually so if you haven't seen it I'll give you a hint
Kendin kim var? Sizin...